Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat Live back with another video. In this video, we're going to do the airdrop or potential airdrop to qualify for ZK Sync. So let's roll that intro and let's get into the video. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You know what to do hit that subscribe button and bell notification so when I upload my latest vids, you can get notified immediately. Okay, ZK Sync, this is one of the uh, lower high profile uh, ones that is talked about in the crypto space. And this is uh, an airdrop, uh, potential airdrop that they could be doing to get mass adoption. So that's, you know, a lot of these projects do this. We saw this with uh, Uniswap, Optimism, Ethereum. There's a bunch of them out there that did, did it. Last one that I uh, did a video, I think it was Zeta. Uh, chain which uh, you get your 5,000 free points which so go and have a look at that video if you haven't already and this is like another one ZK sync so you want to just uh, you know have a go at uh, you know using their test net or the main net um, because you know you could potentially be getting uh, tokens the airdrop strategy is uh, pretty successful if it's done right and if it's high profile team and I think that this one here has got potential for that um, so here it's got uh, quickly the five magical components for um, uh, that make this project one um, to look out for. ZK Sync 2.0 is now on mainnet, rapidly moving to fully gated release. Uh, general purpose, EVM compatible, support solidity, gas in ETH and open source and then it's got three unique supports account abstraction solidity and viper is built on via uh, llvm compiler so a lot of this stuff don't really worry about it. it's just technical terms um, but um, it's essentially going to make uh, web3 more accessible um, and uh, unlimited scaling so that's kind of like what this is all about okay unlimited scaling so um, how do we uh, potentially get this uh, airdrop uh, if it does come? Well, first of all, you can, um, there's, you, know, you can do a number of things here. You can use their mainnet, you can use their NFTs, contribute to Gitcoin, use their testnet, or join calls and activities. So the, obviously the more you do, the better, um, but I'll leave that up to you. I'll just follow, I'm just going to go through a couple of them which is use mainnet, mint NFTs, and use a testnet, all right? So obviously you're gonna need a um, MetaMask wallet with Ethereum in it, okay, to use a mainnet. And um, uh, let's just go here, use a mainnet here, all right? So you need to, first of all, activate your account. So I'll put the link to this, uh, sheet um in the description so you can follow okay but i'll follow i'll do the steps now so this is it here all right go to wallet.zksync.io slash account connect up your metamask and have it on ethereum all right and then um what we want to do is we want to um top up our account okay that's the first thing we want to do we want to move some ethereum to a zk sync mainnet wallet okay so you can use any of these. I recommend you use, uh, well, I did this one here, this zigzag, and this just it's just a bridge that allows me to bridge from Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync mainnet. All right, there's obviously a fee, but the other options here are like credit card. I mean, you can do it if you want, or you got Bybit, funds from Bybit, it's up to you. But I'm gonna do the zigzag, all right? So click on this, connect up, um, obviously your um, wallet, have it on Ethereum and then um, do this, right? So you just click, uh, just put whatever Ethereum that you want to send over. So, you know, just do the minimum 0 0.05 maybe. I'm going to do that, uh, which is valued at about $7. Then you're going to need some gas as well. Um, I've already done it. And then you just click this um, button here. It'll just say transfer, okay? So once you click on this transfer, what it's doing is it's sending it from Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync mainnet, okay? And once you do that, then you, it's basically going to activate your wallet here. 
and then you're going to have some money in there okay so zk sync and balances in uh, l2 all right or you could share your address somewhere on social media and someone can send you some money but uh, once you've got some um, funds in here then you'll be able to uh, do the next step and we want to basically mint an nft all right so here we want to go to nft.storage and to log in, um, you're just going to need an email address. Yeah, just do an email address um, to log in. Okay, I've already logged in. Oh, good. Just uh, log me in automatically. So once you click your, uh, once you create a login uh, email address and you confirm it, then you can use this service. Yeah, all you need to do is go here, upload this upload button. Okay, and then you just choose like I just chosen JPEG, any JPEG and and then don't worry about this car thing don't worry about it. just click that and just click upload all right so once you get that upload then um you've got to pay uh, a gas fee which is a small amount and then you'll have this it'll look like this okay and you can see one that i've already done then you got to come to this cid right and you're going to click on this cid copied then you go back to your wallet and go under nfts and then you want to mint all right you can see i've already minted one you want to go mint and then you want to um oh, first of all authorize the um the wallet okay so just um make sure you're on ethereum and then um it'll just authorize so then you want to do is you want to paste it here okay so this is a content content address and you want to paste the address here all right remember we got it from here we copied it from here and then you want to paste it in here and then you want to click this mint nft now i've already done it so that's why it's not showing up once you click on this you pay um a, a gas fee it's only small and then you will see your um nft here and this will this will be on chain now see you can see it all the content is on chain and that's that's what you want to do basically that's it all right so the reason why we do that is because we're interacting with a contract, all right? So what we've done is we've funded our account first, then we've interacted with the contract here with the NFTs. Uh, let's see what else we want to do. We can use the test net, all right? What I did with the test net was I just used the bridge. Um, once you kind of flip here, like if you want to use the test net here, the details are here. For the test net but it'll it'll automatically prompt you um your metamask will prompt will, will prompt you to add this to your metamask but you can be safer by just adding it this way it's up to you you got to be careful with these pop-ups okay they might be they could be fake but yeah that's what i would do just do like a transaction um test net transaction from zk sync to to test net ethereum and then just do the reverse and then reverse it again like wait till that's done and then just do the same right um ethereum test net to zk sync test net right just make sure that you have this um gas that we showed that i showed you before which was the faucet okay you're going to need this um gas to transact on both of those um on the layer one and on the layer two all right so that's how you do the do the test net pretty easy um to use a test net and you can do do uh yeah so to deposit and withdraw do that do that twice okay all right guys so that's pretty much it um i showed you the uh mainnet okay showed you how to do that then i showed you how to mint the nfts and i showed you how to use the test net uh, you can do the gitcoin if you want as well all right but you know when this rolls out you know we'll see um i think that it's going to be a healthy airdrop because um by doing these airdrops and getting it out to all these people that use the use the um layer two solution that they're doing um i think that it's going to be a um a big thing uh especially if they can build on it that could be you could see some free money guys you never know okay so so just by taking five or ten minutes now it could pay off all right, guys, let me know your thoughts. Um, have you done it already or are you about to do it? If you have any questions, comment below. I can help you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. 
share this if you can and i'll see you guys in the next video